Today, we are duplicating titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Tips. I am Benoit Farin for BenExplorer.com. The legacy title in Adobe Premiere is still used frequently, and quite often we do want to copy an existing title, retain its style, but just change the text in the newly created title. This sounds like an easy thing to do, right? But it comes with a challenge. So let's look into this. I have already created a title. This is the title of my movie, A Trip to Spain. Now, since we are talking about Spain, let's quickly fly over that wonderful country and you will be spoiled by its wonderful cities that are based on Roman and Greek cultures. You will fall in love with the Spanish food and wines, with the architecture and a rich history. Spain is full of beautiful natural landscapes. From the Tabernas desert to majestic mountains, the Pyrenees and the Picos de Europa in the north, the Sierra Nevada in the south. And of course, Spain is blessed with an endless array of magnificent beaches. But here we are, back in Premiere. And as I said, I already created the main title of my movie, A Trip to Spain. Notice that I created this title using the legacy title. Let's redo this quickly. I remove the existing title first, then navigate to File, New, Legacy Title, this will create a new clip, so I'll give it a name I can recognize. I'm calling this movie title. And then I plant the cursor here and type a trip to Spain. I'll change the style to say this, yeah, this one. Yeah, it looks good. Let's center the title so it displays at the center of the screen. Click the vertical center button and the horizontal center button. Now close the title window. Notice that the new title now shows in the project panel. Drag it over the sequence here. We now have our movie title. I do want to create a second title later in the movie, so let's say here, and I want to use the same font, the same style as the main title. So I'll just copy the main title, navigate to Edit, Copy, and then position the current time indicator here, and I'll paste the title, Edit, Paste. Good, so we have our first title here, and the second displays here as expected. I'll change the text of the second title, so double-click on the second title, and I'll name it A Day at the Beach, and I'll center it too. All good so far, the second title introduces the beach section of my movie. But check this, the first title changed as well. What happened? This will happen because the data of both the first and the second title that I copied in the timeline is linked to the single is linked to a single source in the project panel. So the changes I make to the main title or to the second title, will change the source and will apply to both. So we cannot copy and paste titles on the timeline. We need to create two independent copies. So let's first clean things up. I'll delete the second title and I'll reset the first title to the main title of my movie, A Trip to Spain. Okay. So to create two independent copies, I need to navigate to the project panel, select the title in the panel, and I need to duplicate the title inside the project panel. So right click and select duplicate, and finally drag the duplicate to the timeline. This creates two instances that can be edited independently from each other. Let's update the name of the second title then double click on the title and give it the name A Day at the Beach. I'll center again, I'll close the dialog, and notice now that both titles are now independent. The first displays the main title of the movie and the second displays A Day at the Beach. They both refer to their own entry in the project panel, as you can see here. 
There is a simpler way to do this. So let's first remove the duplicate. And instead of creating a duplicate in the project panel, and then drag the duplicate onto the sequence at the desired location, as, as we just did, simply select the title on the timeline, hit Alt or Option on the Mac, drag and drop the title to the desired location. Notice that the title was duplicated for us in the project panel. Double click the title, change the title to A Day at the Beach, and notice that we do have two independent titles on the timeline. So to sum things up, do not copy and paste a title in the sequence. This will not create an independent copy of the source title, but instead duplicate the title in the project panel and drag the copy over the sequence. Or simply select the title in the sequence, hit Alt or Option on the Mac, and drag and drop the title on the sequence. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy editing, and until next time.